How's it guys? My name is Chantal. Oh, yeah. Everyone says that they have a horrible life. But I'm here today to tell you that my life is actually worse than yours. I mean, just the other day I was walking through Woolworths and some old groot asked me if I worked there. Bloody teeth. So I'm going to tell you a very true story about my life. So a few months ago, I thought I met the guy of my dreams. I was having a black label beer with my duck screw friends. You know, you must take the ugliest ones with you to the jewel so you can look the prettiest. And then this guy from across the bar gave me those I want your vagina eyes. But you know I always play hard to get so he bought me one drink and then I went home with him At his house in Curls River I said Keiki I am only here for three things I'm here for inches, I'm here for dalchies and I'm here for pilsig Now he didn't smoke and his thief sister ate the last dalchie That he mate So you know then what went down But then a few days later when I went to his house The master puss had someone else in his bed My boyfriend was cheating on me! I was about to moor the holy spirit out of his bed. But then I saw the person who came out of his bed. It was a man. My boyfriend was a moffy. I shame fui toch. I do love the homosexuals. So after having a quick threesome with both of them, I went and I went to go download that Tinder thing. I was needed a new Burke who would love me for me. Moments later, I matched with a liquor hot piece and I met him the same night. And yeah, you are probably thinking Shantel that's very dangerous he could be a rapist or a pedophile or a child molester no 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 honey if someone tries to rape me I will rape the Naya back my tooties Easter I do those kegel exercises by squirting out gherkins from my tooth my tooth is just so so nothing goes in there without permission but this Nai had straight smooth gladder in his profile picture but when I met him in real life his hair looked hideous the cruisest of Cruise here. And then he still made it into one of those man buns so it looked like fucking lion's head mountain. I was catfish, six man for check. So I moored the living shit out of him. I was like, uh, uh. I was like Vegeta, my bro. I used my body as a vessel and I channeled my inner Satan. So I went home that night and I had a chilled night with my friend. But then my friend told me something very, very weird. She said, oh, Chantal, you glowing? I was like, the puss. What's a puss glows in the night? So I quickly went to the bathroom and took a pregnancy test because the only time a girl will glow is if she's wearing the wrong foundation or if she's pregnant. And Vrachtiva, it turns out I'm pregnant! After that I was very upset and I was very distraught. My sugar levels was yummels worth. So I went to the doctor. He kept feeling up my teta. He felt this one up liquor just here. I was like, for check you push. Buy me a Gatsby before you pull such cuck off. But then he told me he wasn't feeling me up. He actually found a lump. I had cancer! So to say thank you to the doctor for finding my cancer, we pumped each other stick and we on the hospital. Yo, that was liquor. But then when he fingered me, I got my period. Sis! But then I remembered, hey, Chantal, you're pregnant. So you should... So you shouldn't get your period. What a blessing. This doctor killed two birds with one stone. He found out that I had cancer and he killed my unwanted baby child. And I don't care about the breast cancer because believe it or not, I'm a man. Moral of the story, even if you are a puss tiff who works at Spur, got cheated on, acts like a hoorweight slit, got catfished or sold your soul to the devil for YouTube subscribers, your life will never be worse than mine. Thank you and for check. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and like this video if you want to hear some more of Chantel's crazy stories. And make sure to share this video with your friends. Peace and love. Keep laughing.